on that Bardius built all those years ago. There's still, I think, uh, maybe some children of those original goldfish there. <laughs> That's possible, yeah. So what role does the, the um, fish pond play in the process? Can you explain? Well, us? currently I'm only using goldfish, but the idea is that the, uh, the, the excrement that the goldfish produce um, goes into a dissolved form and then from there the water is pumped into grow beds which will go over there. I'm currently about to make this a lot bigger so that I can actually put um, silver perch in it which are better eating fish of course than goldfish. So how much mm. bigger will it be? Uh, probably be about 5,000 litres all up. So what is it now? Uh, probably around about three and a half. Three mm. and a half thousand? Yeah. Okay so how many fish will you be able to put in there? Um, I'll probably about have about 150 silver perch. Wow, so how big do they get? Um, they grow probably plate size is a really good time to <laughs> harvest them. <laughs> They're a nice white fish, uh, probably one of the fourth highest omega uh, content fish as well, so very healthy fish. And they'd be quite happy in this little fish pond? Yeah, they actually uh, come from um, usually around the air basin, uh, Lake Air Basin. They're a uh, native fish of course and one of the good things about them is they are able to withstand high uh, salinity, high turbidity. Um, so in a pond like this where we've got a really good filtration system they'll the really pump boom. that I'm using is an Abara Optima and uh, it's a fairly high uh, volume um, pump. It probably pumps around 5,000 litres uh, per hour and the idea of this, this then enters into the grow beds which we'll go over and have a look at. Uh, I use a constant um, flow which I'm experiment experimenting with at the moment. Um, so in other words the pump stays on 24-7 and uh, eventually what I'm going to do is try and drop it off to um, maybe 15 minutes uh, on and 45 minutes off. Here the water's pumped into these grow beds. I've used uh, old bath tubs, just a nice way to recycle products. And these are all filled with gravel, um, you know, roughly about 7 to uh, 10 mil gravel. And the idea is the water percolates through here, um, ends up in a nice little drainage system that we've developed. And as you can see it comes out here. It aerates as well. Uh, this is an old float tank. and. Inside this float tank I've got uh, currently got yabbies and uh, these also help clean up some of the bottom stuff uh, and hopefully within the next uh, couple of months we'll start having uh, quite a few hundred yabbies in production. So you could eventually be, be quite self-sufficient coming out of this? Reasonably, um, one of the, the shortfalls in, in the aquaponics system is, you know, obviously you can see this is, uh, the growth here um, in vegetables is phenomenal. Like um, this has only been in uh, production for probably two and a half weeks and in that time I've put a lot of se uh, seedlings in so, you know, they've had a good head start. But there are other things that I've put in from seed and uh, the growth is just phenomenal. Probably within another week or so we will be able to harvest, you know, probably just a small quantity every night. And what would you say the advantages over growing in soil are? Um, there's a couple and I'm still experimenting of course, but one of the, uh, the most touted things is the, uh, the, the water efficiency. There's only around about 10% of the water that you would use in a uh, normal uh, soil garden. So even though we can see a lot of water, it's actually using a lot less water than it would in an ordinary garden. That's correct and one of the things about this water that um, we're recycling, the only sort of real loss but, uh, besides the transpiration of the plants is uh, just the evaporation but I try to keep everything reasonably cool so there's less evaporation. The pond for example is nice and deep and uh, narrow and well shaded and all these garden beds as you can see at the moment are in a fair bit of shade. Um, and my uh, yabby grow out tank is all shaded as well so minimal evaporation in that sense. I've noticed there's a lot of bees here. <laughs> yes well. there is a lot of bees obviously attracted by the water I'm not a bee expert but uh, I'm actually intending to see somebody who uh, has a fair bit of knowledge on bees and just see whether we can incorporate some, uh, you know, you have a some hive. Really. Uh, that's the aim. It's funny, I never uh, 
you know, when I was younger, I perhaps thought of being self-sufficient. As I uh, got older, I realised it was a bit of a pipe dream. And now you're coming back to it. <laughs> but I'm actually realising it's not as hard as it perhaps really is. Um, just takes a little bit of hard work initially to set things up and, you know, some real good knowledge and observation over the years of what works and what doesn't work.